Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Now there were certain Greeks among those who came up to worship at the feast. Then they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew, and in turn Andrew and Philip told Jesus. But Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my Father will honor. John chapter 12, verses 20 through 26. The goal of the Christian life is death not success. A popular teaching says that if we follow God, we will prosper materially. God may, in fact, bless his people materially, but few can make this claim among third world countries. Wealth must never be the goal of a person's life, only a byproduct. A missionary to a Middle Eastern country shares a motto among his ministry team, quote, God does not require success, but radical, immediate obedience, end quote. Jesus' obedience gains him the cross. It does not gain him popularity among the heathen or the religious. It does not gain him financial success or a life of pleasure. His obedience results in his death on the cross. This is the same goal Christ has for each of us, death of our old nature so that he might live through us, that may not sell well among outcome-based Christian workplace believers, but it will result in an eternal reward that far exceeds any earthly reward. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. The Christian life is, in reality, a paradox. The first will be last death in return for life, and we are encouraged to offer praise to God to overcome a spirit of heaviness. It requires faith in a God who operates from a different set of values that are sometimes difficult to measure from human standards. So today, why not let death work in you a life that only God can raise up? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. I am a new man. My soul has been one. I have a new name. The name of the sun. I drink a new wine. I sing a new song. I have new blessings. I'm bringing along. Just like the old days. I am a changed man. I live a new way. I keep on changing each and every day. His word is changing. The words that I say, his spirit changing. The 